Hello everyone, this is Sean from Atlanta. I'd like to take a few minutes to introduce you to the Axon Plus. The Axon was designed and developed by Ed over at Experimental Airlines. I call the Axon Plus her bigger sister. Here I have two versions. I have a medium version and I have a heavy duty version. We're going to be discussing the heavy duty version, the Plus. Let me move this one here out of the way. And I required something that was a little more resilient and capable of carrying a larger payload. So after hitting the drawing board, the Axon Plus was born. The Plus measures three and a half inches wide, two inches high, and 45 inches long. Okay, let's take a look at some of the modifications that I've made here. One of the biggest things I wanted was a battery hatch. I was tired of putting my batteries in and when I put my GoPro on, I would get the top of my wires. So what I did is I developed a battery hatch. So I could put my batteries in, close it down, and the only thing I would get is part of the nose, which is all black. So that was a good um, blend and a good, good mix. The second modification I made was the hatch on the fuselage. The hatch was designed mainly to access my FPV gear. I now have access from the front, the rear, and from the top. Okay, simple hatch opens and closes. It's a, it's a, it's, it's a great thing. One of my most interesting discoveries um, regarding the Plus was that the GoPro, with its full case, the batteries, mounted seven inches from the, from the front of the nose, acted as a perfect counterweight for my CG. So with the arm and wing on top, the GoPro and everything, it was a perfect, it, the plane was perfectly level. So, but it was designed to be showing a three to four degree angle nose down to help the flight. On the original Axon, it places radio here in the front. Well, rule of thumb is that you want to keep your radio as far away from your um, FPV gear as possible. So what I did was I relocated my radio to the tail and mounted it here. Okay, this also gave me a lot of excess room for future expansion. And also too, I have access to my wiring for my rudder and for my elevators. Main feature of the Axon Plus is the fuselage. The fuselage, the side walls are double walled and the top and the bottom are all single sheet foam. Um, the fuselage was easy and fast to make. So I'm going to give you a quick example of what I did here. You take your foam board, you go ahead and you mark out how you want whatever the height is you want and the width. So I'm going to stick with a standard two inch um, uh, piece for you. Let's give you a, a simple example. So what I did was I needed my two inch wall so I did a two inch marking and then I added another two inch marking. Then what I needed to do was I needed to be able to fold the, that first, the, the second two inch marking up onto the floor. So I left a space here for the, for the um, foam. It's just a, it's a foam board piece width. Okay. And I did my floor, whatever measurement I wanted. Did another foam board um, spacing, another two inch and another two inch. Then what you do is, once you get your, your lines on your foam board, you go ahead and you score it. I'm gonna do this very quickly, the lines may not be straight. I'm just trying to do this for, just for video purposes. Go ahead and do your scores. Everything here is a score, there are no cuts. And what you wanna do is, okay, that's all done. The first thing you want to do is go ahead and, and bend over your first wall, bend over your second wall so you can take this piece of here out. This should come out pretty easy. I don't remember, I don't know where I, I don't know if I ever saw this on the internet or not. Um, if I did, whoever, whoever came up with this idea, 
I'm giving you full credit for it. I don't know who you are, but but I don't even know if I saw it. I just happened to be sitting down one day and came with this idea. Okay, so now I have my, my foam board sli slices out. Make sure that it's nice and clear in here. Because what's going to happen is you're going to take this piece, you're going to fold it up over, and you take this piece and fold it up over. Take your next piece, bend it down. These are your two walls. Okay, and this is your frame. Okay, now the finished product is going to look something like this. Okay, once you fold it up, as you can tell, the piece comes up and sits on the floor. This piece here comes up and sits on the floor. This piece here folds over, and this piece folds over. You glue them. You glue the two fold over pieces and you should have a frame. Now what I do is normally when I, after I glue the first two, it's pretty quick to glue, I take a piece of foam board that measures exactly what I need for the inside here. It's a, it's a, and it's a little bit larger, just a hair, not much. I put it in here so that when it dries, this, is, this will be the width and everything that I need. So it's just that simple. That's, that there is your fuselage. Okay, so I'm gonna take, so basically once you have this set up and ready to go, you want to build your hatch. So this is not going to be a pretty hatch. Not, the whole thing is not going to be pretty because it's just a demonstration for you. All right, so let's say I want to put a hatch three inches in. So I'm going to measure, go ahead and measure out three inches. And this is really, you want to turn your piece to the, to the reverse side. We'll go three inches here, roughly three inches here. And this is where I'm going to make a score at. So this is a simple score. Now, the other thing is, too, this does not have the paper backing on it. I strongly recommend that you keep the paper backing on it. This is just a scrap that I had there, so I'm just using a piece of scrap, okay? So you fold it back. You go ahead and you do your tape over the actual fold. You want to try to tape the whole piece. I'm just For demonstration purposes, I'm just putting a piece on here. And then you want to put another piece that's going to be on here to make it sturdy. So this is your this is your stationary piece. You go ahead and you use duct tape. Do not use shipping tape on this. Use duct tape. Come right up. Uh, go come up to like an eighth below the actual uh, fold. Put your duct tape in. Bend it over nice and neat. Try to keep it as even. This is not even. So now I have a hatch here. It's just that simple. This will get glued. Well, before you put the duct tape on, glue the um, the stationary piece on first, then use the duct tape. Okay, so now I have a hatch there. But let's say I only need a hatch that's going to be um, five inches. So now you can already have it pre-measured out, or you can do what I'm trying to do here. I would probably try to have it pre-measured out. Okay, so this is my five-inch hatch. This is another stationary piece. This here would get glued here, put onto here, and then you reinforce it with duct tape. I can't, I can't, um, can't tell you enough. You use the duct tape; it's a lot better, a lot easier. Try to cut straight lines, you know, the whole nine yards. I'm just throwing this here together real quick, just to give you an idea. Okay. So now I have a hatch. The top here has no bearing on the support of the walls. Uh, the walls are independently supported. This here is just, is just the, for your cover. It has no bearing on anything. Now if you put something on top of it and it's solid, great. It, it will support it, but otherwise it has no bearing. So that's how simple it is to build this fuselage. Okay, you, you, saw, me how, you saw me do the hatch and how I put it on here. I definitely use duct tape uh, on the stationary parts. Make sure that you uh, put duct tape around your edges here. Also, too, I recommend that you that you in, that you line the entire fuselage with half-inch duct tape on top. Fold it over. This will make sh this will actually add to your stability of the actual airframe. Okay, and then you're going to do the same thing at the bottom. What's nice about the duct tape at the bottom is that it does add to the, the, the stability of it because you're going to. Normally, normally what I do is actually cut it in half. Big piece, cut it in half. Okay, I go ahead and find my mark where I want to mark it at. 
start it here, fold it into the indention here, and then fold it over. It's a nice clean look. It gives you a nice ridge line here. It just makes it, it makes it look a lot better. But that's the fuselage, that's how simple this whole thing is. Okay? Okay, my sixth modification was to preserve the life of their airframe bottom. Okay? Um, I used a premium laminate uh, that can be found at Home Depot or Lowe's. These are the sheets. Um, they're, if you go to the uh, cabinet remodeling section and all, uh, these are free samples. They're lovely hard pieces of laminate. So what I did was I actually placed one up front here, and these are easy to cut to size. I placed one up front here, taped over it. So this is a nice sturdy piece here. Um, it's not going to wear out anytime soon. The duct tape will wear out, just replace the duct tape over it. I placed one here in the front, and then I placed another one roughly uh, 14 inches back. 14 inches back right here. It comes in two different sizes. It comes in two different sizes. Um, so these are your two sizes. And they come with different patterns and textures. Don't you hate when you're recording you get phone calls? Okay, so I placed one here in the front, duct taped it over, and placed another one here, a smaller one here on the side, duct taped it over. This is what, now what it did, it actually brought the airframe up, up just a hair, but it's enough so that when it lands on its belly, this is the only two places that get damaged. If you notice here, it's all clean and smooth, and here is all clean and smooth. Okay? So, and then the best part about these pieces, they are free. Okay, if you go into the remodeling section, they um, have the, a big rack of them. Just go pick the colors you want, they have them white, black, black matte, black gloss, however you want it. So if you don't want to tape the front, no problem. Glue it on and you're, you're in business. In closing, the Axon Plus keeps true with the original Axon design as a reliable yet nimble flyer. It can be used as a trainer, but for the person who wants a more robust airframe for longer flights and more FPV options, this is the ticket. If you have any comments, thoughts, or suggestions, place them down below. And there's some video um, that's coming up. Take a look at it. Thank you. Just doing my thing. Just doing my thing. Just doing my thing.